Hello friends and enemies, today's video is on the 2021 EP Praying Mantis by Pilgrim. Pilgrim is a dark instrumental indie project from Asuncion, Paraguay. That's right, we have added another new country to the map. Members of Pilgrim are also members of Metal Project Saboath and Electronic House Project LPZ, which I think is pretty cool. Before I get any further, I would like to remind you to all like, comment, and subscribe for more content related to goth music out of Latin America. This was pretty interesting as an instrumental album went. As far as instrumental rock music goes, especially in the goth category, it's usually sort of ethereal, neoclassical, or very industrial sounding. From what you heard about the other bands that the members of this project are part of, you might expect that sort of thing. However, this is not like that. There are different sounds over the course of the five pieces that make up the CP, and yes, they are definitely pieces, not songs, because they are not sung. Frequently, these instrumental acts are just one person on a synthesizer, maybe guitar. But this here is a three-man band, and it sounds like there are multiple instruments involved. We've got our guitar, our bass, our drums. Yes, there seems to be some electronic programming involved, but this multi-member, multi-instrument, instrumental act thing is pretty rare in the goth music world. And yes, it is identifiably goth in sound. Much of this EP, particularly the first two acts, gives this sort of burning from the inside era Bauhaus vibes, the way there's some of that chaotic crunchiness and overlap in the guitar sounds, along with an ever strumming bass line. There is a sort of jazzy, almost funky touch to some of the pieces, a bit reminiscent of the macabre 1970s jazz rockers Steely Dan. That may seem like an odd comparison for me to make, especially in a positive way, given I am famously not a fan of Steely Dan in spite of being a big fan of their namesake, but it works here. Basically, I would describe the sound on this quite short EP as being Bauhaus meets Steely Dan, but instrumental and more modern, more effects added. I really was surprised by how much this sounded a lot like other typical goth bands were singing and everything is involved because as I mentioned the instrumental goth bands tend to have a different sort of sound giving us a bit of that video game soundtrack touch not that that's a bad thing it's just interesting to find someone doing something different I could see this being the music that the goth DJ plays as sort of the interlude when they're talking between songs because it goes well with those but there aren't lyrics that you have to worry about people yelling along with that was Praying Mantis by Pilgrim. If you want to listen to this band or follow them elsewhere, I have their links listed in the description down below. Please like and leave a comment for that algorithm. If you can't think of a specific comment, just say something with the Butterwaiian flag emoji because, as I mentioned, this is the first time we have covered an act out of Butterwai. If you want more content related to goth music from Latin America, I invite you to subscribe and to follow me elsewhere on social media, which you can find in my link tree, which is also in the description below. Until next time, bye now. Now.